Hey there, thanks for checking out the video. I wanted to do a video to show you guys how to clean the fuel filter on a 2015 Yamaha YZ250FX. Now these steps should be the same for any of the fuel injected Yamaha bikes. Um, that's going to be your YZ450s and the 450FXs and the 250 250FX along with the WR250 and 450s. The reason I came up with this video is everything I had researched led me to believe that the only way to replace your fuel filter on this bike was to replace the entire fuel pump. And that just seemed a little extreme for just wanting to put in a clean filter. After a little bit more reading online, I was able to find some information out on some forums and it kind of led me into the direction that it is doable but they were having to replace some fuel lines inside the fuel pump. I figured out a way to get it all apart without replacing any fuel lines, have it all go right back together. So it is doable. Uh, you do want to do this with some caution though. You're going to have to tear the fuel pump apart quite a bit, really get into it, and you're going to be prying on it. But it is pretty tough plastic, and for mine, it held up just fine. But a word of caution. So let's get into it, show you how this works. All right, so I've already gone ahead and removed the fuel tank from the bike. There's lots of step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this online or refer to your owner's manual. So I figured we'll just skip all that and get to just the important parts. So you wanna access the fuel filter. It's going to be right down here. This is gonna take a number four sized Allen. And we're just going to get these popped off. Also, I have to say it just in case, make sure you empty your fuel tank before you take this apart. And there you go. There is your fuel pump. Set that down. Set the fuel can aside. All right. Little spacer plate here. Put that to the side. Here is the fuel pump. So you have pump motor. Right inside of here, you can kind of see it back in here. That is the fuel filter. So it is attached to the bottom of the pump. So you actually have to get all of this off. And then that pump pulls it up and sends it out. So let's get tearing it apart. Easiest way I found to take this apart is to have a couple small flat blade screwdrivers and some you know, pointy picks, whatever works for you. First though, we are going to get this upper area off. This is all one piece onto here. To do that, we have a clip here. And we will just come in Kind of get that guy opened. Then on the other side, we have another one. Okay. Now you can see that fuel filter a little bit better in there. Looks like it'd be really easy to just pull out, but it is attached again to the fuel pump. So all of that has to come out. The biggest pain is to remove all of this 
it all ties around these three clips. You've got one there. That one's pretty easy to get to and it's the only one along that body. And it is just a cover around the fuel pump. So again, you need to get that one. This one in the middle. And there's a third one way in the back. I get the camera to see it. Back in here. You can kind of access it by lifting up right here. This fuel line here does not want to come off. It's a very thick, heavy duty line. Uh, you can replace it. There's kits you can buy on eBay for new filters and lines. So you can just cut the line to make this an easier job. But when I set out to do it, I was trying to keep it all intact without messing with anything. And it is possible. I found if you start on this one, since it is the hardest, that one popped first, this one second, this one third, because it's the easiest, you can get it done. So bear with me while we try to make this happen. Fortunately, I got the other two and then this one popped out. We'll probably have to put the other two back on, but let's see if we can get it. Okay, I think we are now free. Now that it's all moving, it looks right. Okay, so you can see it was kind of a pain, but we got the one, two, and three way back in there is off. So you're going to want to release this guy as well. That one's incredibly easy just so that it will slide up. And now we can just wiggle the body a little and you can see it's starting to come up. Go ahead and remove our connections. Okay. Not sure why that one was on there so tight. You can leave your connections connected in the back here. Those just for the pickups there. Just kind of move them to the side. So the trick here is the filter is going to want to come up with this whole body. This piece here is a U shape around the filter connection into the fuel pump. So you're going to want to lift it up with it and then try to move it out of the way. That's going to allow you to then be able to get this to pop over. Again, your fuel line here is very thick and firm. So you're going to want to take care as you're lifting all of this up and out of the way. So I'm just kind of wiggle that up. And now you can see here, we can move this up some more. So we have it up just enough that you can slide it out.
and there's your fuel filter. So, now you need to get to it. It's actually pretty easy. Kind of lift this up, and if you wiggle it a little, the fuel pump itself wants to come out, and there you go. There's your fuel pump and your fuel filter. So, this one is a little dirty. Pop that off. When you go to get this fuel filter off, you just kind of take a flat blade in here, gently lift, just to help course it a little bit. You don't have to pry it hard. There you go. There is your fuel filter. So, it's a little black in there. Um, I'm gonna go clean it out real quick and come back and show you what it looks like after you just clean it real quick. Okay, so now that I've sprayed this out with some contact cleaner, dried it out a little bit, uh, you can see much cleaner than it was. Still gonna be some you know, discoloration in there from some of the old dirt, but for the most part, looks a whole lot better than it did. If for some reason, this was not cleanable, or you decided, you know what, I'm just gonna get a new one. You can find these on eBay for pretty cheap. Uh, they're like 10 bucks each. So if you tear into it and you realize, you know what, it's not worth cleaning, it's beyond cleanable, you can order one. They sell them with motors. Me though, I'd rather run my stock motor for as long as possible because I really don't trust a lot of those Chinese knockoff ones. That's it though. So now to put it back together, let's just reverse the steps. You can see I messed up. I started that started going inside. So I need to redo it. There's no reason to rush this as you're doing it. Just make sure it all goes back together nicely. Don't force anything. Taking it apart, you have to be a lot more aggressive than putting it back together. Okay. So you wanna make sure all of your clips are in place and that it's firmly seated in. Go ahead and reattach our power to the fuel pump. Like so. And then last was the cover over the fuel filter. And it just lines up. Snaps into place. Get your clips aligned and that goes over and there you have it that is the disassembly 
and reassembly of the fuel pump. Again, this is out of a 2015 Yamaha YZ250 FX. This should work for the F, the 450F, 450FX, and the WR250 and 450. As far as I've been able to see, it's the exact same pump for all of the bikes. But if I'm wrong, please let me know. Shoot me a comment below. Um, yeah, all you have to do from here, put the ceiling plate back on and over. One thing to notate when you do this is you do have a little cut out here for this dimple to line it all up properly. And I noticed this on this 250FX. I am not sure if it's the same on the others, but there is a mark here on the tank for the dimple to line up for the fuel line for the connection. Okay, so as you can see, it's really not that hard to take it apart and it is doable without having to cut any of your fuel lines internally in the pump or damage anything. So I hope this video was really helpful. Um, I know it was something I was really looking for when I was thinking about cleaning the fuel filter. So hopefully it was of help to you guys. If you think I got something wrong or you disagree, put a comment below, let me know. You know have a discussion, let's see if there's a better way to do it. But I didn't see any other videos, so this was the best way I found to do it. But I'd love to see other people's input or ways that I could do it better. So if you have any other comments or ideas for videos, please leave a comment below. Let me know. Hit the subscribe. I'm trying to do a lot of these videos on installs. Racing's coming up, so should be a lot of great fun and different stuff coming up. So until next time, I'll see you then.